Hey everyone, I need your attention for one minute. This is not one of those ads. This is something that has changed my entire life. If you've been listening to this podcast, you know that this is all about personal development as the foundation for everything good in your life. And this podcast is now sponsored by Growth Day, which is the world's first all-in-one personal development app. I mean, oh my gosh, can you imagine having everything all in one place that you need to create? create the life that you want, now you can. So if you've been struggling with your motivation, your mood, your productivity, or your purpose, you have to check this out. Growth Day helps you consciously change your life and achieve your potential. It has all the self-improvement tools, motivational classes, and life coaching all in one place. So many of us want to improve our lives, but the question is how? Where do we start? What do we use? How do you get unstuck? How do you make self-improvement stick? Well, research shows how. It's when you consistently journal, track your habits, set goals, learn from empowering mentors, and challenge yourself that you'll be happier, healthier, and more successful. But let me ask you something. Where do you actually do all of your personal development work? I have to tell you that over 300,000 people use Growth Day for a reason. It works. It's the world's number one software for self-improvement. Growth Day has an amazing mindset journal that I absolutely love, a habit tracker, and a goal-setting system. In fact, I bet if you went to my stories this week, you probably saw me using the journaling app and telling you to do it too, because it's the first time that journaling has ever actually stuck consistently in my life because of this app. And best of all, Growth Day has live inspirational classes every single week from the world's top motivational speakers and life coaches. These are people who have impacted my life in huge ways. These are mentors who I already knew and loved. In fact, this is something that's so huge for me, you guys. I personally teach a class in Growth Day every single month, and it is one of the most fun things that I get to do, and I'd love to see you there. These classes will truly shift your life. There's always something new that you will learn. So join me in 300,000 achievers growing our lives with actual real intention. Visit growthday.com slash Lori for a free trial. Yes, you can try this for free. So go to growthday.com slash Lori and go live your best life. You guys, that's growthday.com forward slash Lori. And I can't wait to see you there. What are the little things that you can start right now to live a life that feels more fulfilled? Because if you don't get intentional like this, you will feel like you did not live. And that's not why you're here. You are here to create a life that you love. You are here to apply meaning to your relationships, positive meaning, find the lessons, and actually enjoy. Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. It's time for another quickie because there is always time to fit in inspiration. And I just got back from Italy last night. You guys, I did the thing where you stay up for like 24 hours so that when you get home, you don't get jet lagged. And I think it's working. So it doesn't mean you have to stay up 24 hours. It just means you want to be really, really tired so that by the time you go to bed that you are exhausted and you actually sleep through the night and then wake up at your normal time the next day. And I know that getting outside within the first 30 minutes of being awake is like a really great way to reset your circadian rhythm. So I did that. And I can honestly say I feel really freaking good. So this is the first time I've done European travel where it was pretty seamless, especially with the sleep and just getting integrated. And I think so much of that is getting on that schedule. And also we traveled with some really incredible people. We were actually doing one of our friends. He does a work hard, play hard mastermind. And I can honestly say it is nothing like a mastermind, even though I swear by masterminds, it is an experience. It is a life changing experience. And, you know, when I go on these life-changing experiences, 
which we tried to do once a year, but then obviously COVID happened and we hadn't done one in about, oh my gosh, three years or was it two years? I think it was three. No, it was two. Sorry. I do them because it enriches my entire life. It reminds me of who I am and how I want to live. And it really gets me outside of my world and changes my perspective. Not just that. It not only really helps you with your relationships and how you want to live, but there's so much about how other cultures live life. And there's so much inspiration that you don't get to see every day in the States or maybe just in your bubble that really has an impact on your business. And I know some people can't travel right now. I know that some people don't have the money to travel, but getting outside of your bubble, and I talk about this all of the time, I just talked about it on a podcast before I left about maybe you're boring, right? Like maybe you're not getting eyes on your stuff because you need to go to a different coffee shop or you need to go to a coffee shop to work and document it, or you need to go and do something fun on the weekend that takes a little bit of intention and work. So, you know, maybe you want to go play tennis and you haven't done that before. Maybe you need to go buy the tennis racket. Maybe you need to go find where the tennis court is. All the things that are going to pay off in your life are the things that are going to take work. And it's so easy to get into the rhythm of your life and start to think that something is wrong. Start to think that you need to burn the whole damn house down when all you need to do is redecorate the bathroom a little bit, right? So what do I mean by that? Before I left, I was like, oh my gosh, I love my life. I feel like we just did all of these things to shake up the energy, but there's still something I'm feeling a little disconnected around. And it's like, while I was living day to day, I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And here I go off to Italy and immersed in this beautiful culture that's all about connection and friendship and long dinners and great conversation and really enjoying and and making sure that you are the person who is responsible for applying meaning to your life. And it took me traveling to another country to realize that I don't need to burn the house down, that I don't need some insane shakeup all of the time. What I need is to make sure that I'm connecting with more people. I didn't realize how important it was, even though I've written a book on it, even though I connect with friends, I did not realize the importance for me of making sure that once a week, maybe we're going out to dinner with an incredible couple or that we're booking a dinner with new people or that I'm connecting with a girlfriend who really, really fuels my soul, that I'm you know, spending that time, not just maybe on a walk, but really dropping in and connecting. And that that even though that I'm a self-proclaimed introvert, that when I'm with the right people and in the right energy, it is incredible how fulfilled and content I feel all week long. And sometimes I can go through my week and be like, oh, what is wrong? Like, I'm doing what I love. I have this incredible company. I work with amazing people. But what's missing? Something is missing. And for me, it's that more connection with people, whether it's going out to dinner or spending a Saturday going to a workout and then having a coffee date afterward. Connection for me has truly been that North Star that I always go back to. And, you know, when we were on this trip, Rob, who hosts it, Rob Murgatroyd, he had asked us at our very last dinner, these are questions that Tony Robbins had created. And the questions went like this. And we all went around for the entire, you know, I think we were there for three hours, the entire three hour dinner answering these questions. And it was, if you only had 10 years left to live, what would be the thing that you regret? And we went around and answered that. Then the next question was, if you only had three years left to live, what would be the thing that you, the things that you need to do in order for you to not have regret? And then the last question was, if you only had one year left to live, what would be the thing that you need to do so that you don't have regret? And then the final question was, if you only had three months to live, what would you do so that you live a life that you don't have regret? And for me, every single one of them boiled down to, I would have more experiences, just small experiences every single week, day to day, going and playing tennis, taking a pottery class, taking a painting class, taking a cooking class. And it would all be experiences that don't seem that big, that would have a massive impact. And I would do them with people I love. 
And I realized this is not something huge. I can make this change right now. So I urge you truly to answer those questions and look at what are the big things that maybe are going to take some serious intention that you need to sit down and plan for the year And what are the little things that you can start right now to live a life that feels more fulfilled? Because if you don't get intentional like this, you will feel like you did not live. And that's not why you're here. You are here to create a life that you love. You are here to apply meaning to your relationships, positive meaning, find the lessons, and actually enjoy. Actually enjoy and not feel guilty about it when you do. That's also a key point, right? Like really understand that the more you enjoy life, the happier the planet is, the happier the people around you. And that is a ripple effect. That is called breaking the pattern because you probably did not see it growing up. And if there's one thing that we need, it is happier people, more people enjoying their life and just understanding that life is a gift. And of course, of course, it's okay to want things. Of course, it's okay to strive for things, but just make sure that you're enjoying your actual life while you're doing it. And what does that take? So answering those questions can really help. So you guys, I would love to know what your biggest takeaway was. If there was one thing that you're like, holy shit, like all I need to do is have friends over and make pasta once a week. Like, I don't know. What's your thing? Tell me your thing. I want to know. What is the thing that you were like, wow, this would make my life so much richer. And I want to know if you're going to do it. I want to know if you actually put it in the calendar or if you're going to just keep choosing monotony. All right, guys, I love you so much. Until next time, earn your happy. Bye, everyone. Want to know a huge secret to my success? Okay, not only my success, but just about every single person that I have interviewed on this podcast who is successful has this in common. You guys, they love to journal. They capture their life lessons and what they're grateful for. But a lot of people don't keep this up consistently. And most people do know that the research shows that journaling deepens your gratitude and increases self-awareness. But did you also know that journaling decreases stress and helps you achieve your goals faster? In fact, journaling is a huge differentiator between average performers at work and high performing people. It leads to longer term clarity, confidence, and success. So why don't more people journal? Why didn't I journal consistently? Honestly, they don't like staring at a blank page. It's hard to carry a book around with you or a notepad, and they just don't even know what to write about, or they just forget. That's why I know that you're going to love Growth Day. It's the world's number one system for self-improvement, and it's like all-in-one personal development in an app. And it has an awesome digital journal, and people love it. Growth Day's digital journal has hundreds of research-backed writing prompts for self-reflection, positive mindset, confidence building, and success. I use them all the time, and it makes me think in ways that I typically don't, and it makes me ask myself better questions, which we all know gets better results in our life. It even has prompts that help you develop a daily, weekly, or monthly habit of reflecting on your life and identifying areas to grow. So it's a perfect time of year to start journaling, you guys. When you sign up at Growth Day, you also get systems for habit tracking, goal setting, and scoring and improving every area of your life. Best of all, I get to teach there too, you guys. I'm so excited. I hope that I get to see you. I teach live in Growth Day every single month with a new topic just for you. So join me there. Start your free trial at growthdate.com slash Lori. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number for real? My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363 and I 
literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday. I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back and I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group. Then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com. Hey, do you know what the big secret is this year? And it shouldn't be a secret because this should be your biggest focus. It is building your community. I am always working on building and nurturing my community and everyone is talking about the power of community. Without an online community, you just cannot grow organically or create a real movement, which is what I know that we're all after. And you can build trust or monetize your audience. When you get community right, not only does your audience grow faster, but so do your sales. But where's everybody gonna be managing their communities these days? And a lot of online entrepreneurs and thought leaders are turning to circle.so. Circle is an all-in-one community platform. It lets you host content and create discussions, live streams, group chats, and memberships all under your own brand. And what's so cool about Circle.so is that you don't even need a website or Facebook group. Instead, Circle lets you build your own community site where you can host content and manage your members. You can even create locked and unlocked content spaces, groups, and classes. How freaking cool is that? You can put your content behind a paywall too, and you can charge different amounts of money for different spaces on your community site. Circle.so is famously easy to use, and it has a free 14-day trial for you, so you can go check it out, see if you like it, see if you love all the options. Just go to circle.so. Go check it out right now, you guys. Imagine being able to manage your community, start group chats and live classes, and accept payments all in one place. Kind of mind-blowing since this is usually spread all over the place. You have to log into so many different things. If this is the year to capture, organize, and monetize your community, head over to circle.so. You can get a free trial and start building your online community right now. Just go to circle.so. You guys, you get the 14 day free trial. So just go and see if it's for you. It's going to streamline everything and make your life so much easier. It's so freaking cool. <laughs> 